One, two, three, go the A's. Start the bus. They're down fifth. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Hit the other way out toward right field. Johnson will wait on it, and very quickly, one gone. The batter, number two. Short Here's stop. Corey Seager. Corey he's got three hits, Seager. including a double to this point. Into the windup and the pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt, but if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that First pitch. Number 35. Stepping up to the plate, to Oscar Hernandez. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Here comes the first pitch. A swing, and it's popped in the air back behind first. And that's in there, base hit. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets catcher, absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. Spin and a throw back to second. Here now is Mike Zanino as he'll send a ground ball down to third and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit. The runner scores from second. Throw won't hey. get him. Well I love when guys are aggressive with the runner scoring position. First pitch he jumps all over the to drive in the run. Second baseman. The speedy Trey Ray. Turner digs in now. He comes in with a couple of hits including a triple in four at bats. First delivery to him on the way. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Casto will put this one away, and the side is retired. Striding into the box, Adam Casto. He leads Leading off their half the of the eighth. eighth, and they've been unable Second to get that starter out of the game Adam to this point. Yeah, Castro. he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys Leading gave up. him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Got him as he just continues to mow down these hitters 13 strikeouts now fielder, number now with the plate Brandon, Brandon Evans. Evans no hits in two Your trips to the plate, plate for him in the ball game Christopher Mariners, Strickland comes 18, on to start the inning and he'll have a huge lead to work with turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul swing and a liner foul well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, now trying to do anything to get himself going. So Walter he's got to feel pretty Chang. good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Stepping in, Walter Chang, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with the runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. That curveball just Here frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down to the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away, and it froze it. So it was a swinging strike three. Walter Chang becomes out Better number fielder. two this inning. Raymond, Raymond Armas, Armas stands in as he looks at a called strike. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. One left for Oakland. Still 16-0. Pablo Valdez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there Pablo in this one. Valdez. Billy Hamilton. 
will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat the from Mariners. the right side of the plate here. And look at this. Billy a bunt attempt Hamilton. to start the ninth. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. The right fielder, number one. Ready now, Sid Sis. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 0 1 pitch. He's running again. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. Johnson giving chase. Pickoff move to second, and he'll get back in standing. Ready with another 0 2. And the runner's breaking for third. Grounded back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gone. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. First pitch coming, here it is. Driven nicely into the gap. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a Center tough matchup, but he stays in there, Ken keeps that Ruffy front shoulder Jr. closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. So stepping in, Ken Griffey Jr. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Now a pickoff play at second, back in standing. Here's the first pitch to him. That's lifted the other way out to left. Evans has a beat on it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Digging in, Josh Donaldson. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. A throw behind the runner at second. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Johnson has it in his tracks, and the inning is over. Mariners forced to settle for one. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. The Mariners are on top, 17 to nothing. Now at the plate, DJ Johnson. And Dan, what's gone Leading wrong for this lineup the today? They're only the three outs away from being shut Ray out. Fielder. Boy, you know, I just haven't DJ seen a lot of fight Johnson. in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Your Jeremy Polito. He's going to have to enter the ball game here as now he'll take over in left, left following the injury. 13, Jeremy Pulido. Nick Castellanos is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Fastball called for strike two. One out, nobody on. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. 
And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Into the box, Renato Nunez. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Two tough pitches looking at both of them. Swing and a miss he struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. 17 to nothing the final tonight. Seattle get the win on the heels of four home runs. Ryan Stapleton gets his 29th win as he struck out 13 in this one. Daniel Mengden permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. A reminder that extra BART train service is available on the Fremont Daily City Line or on the Fremont Richmond Line by accessing the ramp directly outside the stadium beyond the left field wall. AC Transit will also be available.